Hi guys. This next video is going to be a real short one. Um, it is going to be a video about what we're going to do with our leftover ham. Um, and I did this around Easter time and I had a little bit of technical difficulties with my equipment. So I'm just getting it out there. So um, this will be a quick, easy what to do with that leftover ham. And you could even do use a ham steak or whatever, whenever you wanna make navy beans and ham. So it's a real simple recipe, it's very straightforward. And I've had a few people ask me how to make navy beans and ham. And my method is super simple, super easy, and it's very, very delicious. So stay tuned guys, here it comes. Okay, so we're gonna make some navy beans and ham with our leftover ham from Easter. And I have about a cup and a half of dry white navy beans in here. I went through, sorted them and rinsed them really well. And I put them in the pan with about four cups of cold water. We are gonna let this come to a boil, boil them for two minutes, and then we're gonna turn the burner off and let them set for one hour. This is called the quick soak before we move on to the next step. These are gonna be super easy and absolutely delicious, so stay with me on this one. So I'm chopping up some carrot, probably about the equivalent of two carrots, because I like to add that in for flavor. And then I'm gonna set that aside in a bowl, and then we are gonna go ahead and dice up about a half of an onion. It's about a large onion, so half a large onion, and we're gonna add that to the carrots and set that aside until we get cooking on the navy beans. So the navy beans have had their soak and we're gonna rinse those. And so I just use a colander and I rinse those really good. And I'm gonna put them back in the pan and add, oh, I think I added about six cups more of water uh, for the amount I'm making. Then we are gonna take that leftover ham bone and we're placing it right in there. And any scraps of ham that you have, just place those right in with your navy beans. And then add in your onion and your carrots. And we're gonna bring that to a rolling boil. And then we're gonna turn that down on about a medium heat so that they continue to boil until they're done. And I cooked these navy beans for about two and a half hours. I added sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and some white pepper. There you go. And it's however much that you like, so just add it to your taste. I probably added about a, a teaspoon of white pepper because I like a little bit of heat but not a ton so maybe it was about a half a teaspoon and then I added some onion powder and I would say I added a teaspoon of onion powder and just a little bit of sea salt because the ham already has salt and you can salt it at the end if you like to but don't over salt it at this point because that ham has quite a bit of salt in there as you can see. So then we're just gonna let this continue to simmer until the beans are tender, as you can see. Now, if you like your navy bean um, a little bit thicker, you can take some of it out and blend it in a blender, but mine actually cooked down to the consistency that we really enjoy. So you can uh, serve this up with cornbread or over the top of cornbread, whichever you prefer, but it's absolutely delicious, minimum effort, maximum flavor. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great rest of your day. 